What's poppin', players? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, back to the channel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Listen, today we are here, and I'm sipping hot vanilla Coke. I don't care. Listen, I'm sipping drinks out here, non-alcoholic. Cause I'm a thug. Anyway, so today we are here. Y'all have been noticing what I've been posting for the past couple, couple videos, right? It's been some odd shit. It's been some weird, and we, we still here. We still here. Why? Because, because of the internet. Today we have a man, a black man, might I add, that is addicted to feeding his girlfriend. His woman, his spouse. And he not addicted to it, but it's like. Let's let's get into the video. How y'all doing? I think watching a woman eat is erotic. It was on my moral. Me because when I eat, I gain weight. <laughs> he loves new curves, cellulite, a bigger body. I ain't gonna lie, but I ain't gonna cap. You imagine where the fat's gonna go, where the curves are gonna go. He likes me to gain, I like to gain, so. Hold on. This man says, I imagine where the, where the fat is gonna go, where the curves are gonna go. Bro, she don't got no more space for no more curves, no more fat, bro. What is you talking about? She like six. 48 right now like what is you talking about where the curves are gonna go ain't no more room for no more curves She got all the curves in every wrong place possible. What are you, what are you talking about where it's gonna go? It's, it's gonna go straight to your heart straight to her heart. She gonna die my nigga. Stop it You be you being uh, uh, Stop You being an enabler right now You just feeding her all this damn food nigga use a feeder nigga stop it Got that ball head, you look like Lamar Odom off the crack. Stop it. I find our feeder feeding relationship to be erotic. Extremely Is that's and that's what it's called. Why do I know this? I don't know. I feel weird about it now. Feeder feederism. And weigh somewhere over six hundred pounds. What I say? Bro, they brung her half the whole cake. Like, what is? I call myself an encourager more than a true feeder. Why do you have a suit on? Be the person who is admiring of an obese large person. Part of their attraction to them is a desire to want to feed them. A feedy is the person who's receiving the food. Philip and I knew that we had the same desire of feeding uh, right away. All right. Question. Now, growing up, right, you tend to be attracted to, you know, either a boy or a girl, and then you get attracted to other things like hair and glasses and braces and shit like that, subcategories, you feel me? Now, how exactly do you even get to a point where What's erotic for you is watching a fat chick be more fat. I don't know how, how do you get to this situation? Like, how do you arrive at calorie station? Like, how, how did you get here? How did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. How did you get, how did you get here, bro? What wrong turn in life did you take? This ain't it. What's up? Come on, bro. I saw her picture and she looked like very impressive. An inflatable I beach ball. Bed Stop and it. Billy was just hanging down and he just went nuts. She's a big girl. I like big girls. Who slashed your stomach? X Men? What's going on? There are very few people fall in love with a person 
that is also the embodiment of their fetishes. So wait, do you love her or is this just a fetish? So I can show my body and men can have their perfect woman to view. You know, I mean, it's not fair that I take a thing of beauty and hide it away or not show it off. I happen to be her photographer. Of course, I have to bring to the forefront All right. beauty. I'm going to stop pausing it, but all right. All my body positive people, leave. Get the hell out. Leave. Leave right now, please. Now, all my niggas with actual, like, head space. Listen, I get that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but my nigga, do you understand how big your eyes got to be to fit all of this shit in the, in the, in the frame? If I turned my camera to her right now, I couldn't fit her in the frame. You know how big you gotta be to not fit in a camera frame? Stop it. What is the situation? Why you look like a, a, a knockoff Magic Johnson? I don't know, but this nigga is weird. Again, I understand. Beauty is in the eye. This nigga's eye of knock off Magic Johnson but again how did you get here nobody's supposed to be here nigga nigga Donna's sexiness Donna's fatness this is an environment and an opportunity to really feel valued this nigga got money though he has to do you know how much groceries cost my nigga do you know how much it takes to maintain this relationship? This nigga making big bucks. Milwaukee. Interesting sets that we've done. I mean, there was one where she was handcuffed to the refrigerator. I can't give Donna to another man to enjoy Donna, but I can give another man a picture of Donna. Donna is a woman that is over 500 pounds. We know. find that every day. I love her fatness, how her fat moves under her clothes. I'm a supermodel, I'm perfect to him. Any but I ain't had no in my take back to the club. That's a thick ass sandwich. They feel empowered about being large. I feel uncomfortable at this point. They get attention for being obese. Sometimes validation. Then in the bedroom. Okay. Is that an apple, my nigga? You eat out of all the shit you could eat. You time you want to eat healthy now. Out of all the times you picked the now you want to eat healthy. Got it. Stretch marks, the fat to push up and down on. Niggas, listen, hold on, hold on, bro, hold on, bro. How you hitting that though? How you hitting that though? What? Okay, 
it's already a challenge to even get in. To walk through those gates is the challenge of a lifetime, my nigga. This nigga is rich and strong, but for my niggas out there, if you were to be put in a position and you gotta get in there, how you getting in there, bro? What's your method, bro? There is stomach security, bro. High-powered rolls, bro. Ready to knock you out, bro. How you getting in there, bro? My nigga right here said he hey, he bouncing. Hey, he, he jumped off the headboard head first. And that's why he got the ball head so he can just slip right in. You feel me? It's, it's aerodynamic. But how are you getting in there, though? Me? I'm not getting in there. All right. If you're going to be selling these picks, my nigga, you need a better camera, bro. Call me, bro. I can tell you about it, bro. Ain't going to lie, though. That sushi look like it's hidden. Shocking new goal? What's your goal, bro? The bigger that I get, the more turned on he is. So every morning, Phil and I have breakfast. And you know, I have eggs, bacon, sausage. Bro, if she get on top of him, he gonna you know, die. Bread, toast, the homework. I think the food in itself is probably just a lead in. He gonna the suffocate. The food is There's a shower involved every morning. Yes, there is. He, he washes you? At least you ain't dirty, you know? I'm just saying that's a long shower, bro. He, 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 he hey. That's a lot of water, my nigga. That's a big towel, my nigga. Where did he find this big ass towel at? Bro, that towel big as hell. Where he find this towel? Is that a beach towel? Is that a picnic? Nigga, that's a blanket. Gotta be. I support Donna in her goal of reaching a thousand pounds. To us, my nigga sewed. He sewed two queen size comforters together, put it around her as a towel. Got to. People who want to maintain a large size, they could be putting themselves at some serious health risk, and you would think that they would be aware of that. Nigga, they know. They don't care. You know what else I just thought about? If this nigga ever flies, get on any plane, bro gotta buy the whole rope. I'm telling you, this nigga got money. It costs money to have fetishes like this. Bro gotta buy the whole rope. Fuck it, buy the whole plane. My nigga fine private. You know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying to see if it'll work out here, and I know that it's not. He had the clear port. That's all I'm saying. Becoming immobile is the ultimate goal. The idea of immobility. And immobility um, is a huge turn on. The thought of being completely what? on somebody is just totally awesome to me. Being completely immobile totally accentuates the power dynamic where the person who's immobile appears and can feel completely powerless and the person who's feeding them can feel completely powerful over them. How many eggs you want? Just so you just gonna feed her until her ankles can't hold the weight no more. Great. That's the plan. That's the plan? Nigga, just break her ankles. Just break her ankles. You could have just broken her ankles.
break her back. Shoot her in the back. Paralyzed. She can't move. Could have just did that. But no. You want to fucking feed her. I don't know what that was, but it scared the shit out of me right now. Anyway, listen. I just don't understand. That's the, that's that's really, you know what I'm saying? That's really all it comes to as a moral. I just don't get it. But that's perfectly fine. Because that's not what I do. You know what I'm saying? This nigga loves feeding his girl. I know some of you girls out there want a nigga like this. Not to this extreme. But you want a nigga that every time you call that nigga, he gets you some food. That's, I know some of y'all, some of y'all want that. Niggas, nigga. Listen, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just get out of here and try to edit this and try to, you know what I'm saying, just try to live, you know what I'm saying? And tell your mama I love her. Go give her a hug. I'm out of here.